folks, Cooking with Kel Bob here in my ordinary kitchen with Bounty from my ordinary backyard. Today, folks, we're going to can some apples. And I'm telling you, this is going to be short and sweet. But if you want to take the flavor of summer and apples and, and preserve them so in the wintertime when you want a fresh apple pie or a fresh apple crisp or just plain stewed apples, you got to pay attention here. But of course, along with me is Grill Dog. Sherman! Come here, Sherman. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. And of course, everybody should have a grill dog because when you drop food on the floor, you don't have to bend over to pick it up. Okay, folks, what we're going to do is the first thing with our apples, I've already cored and peeled these, washed them. I'm thinking maybe 15, 20 pounds. I'm going to try to get at least five quarts out of this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix our syrup, which is going to be just starting with five cups of water. So now I'm going to turn the heat on my water. And if you think syrup is something fancy, it's not. All syrup is is sugar and water. So let's go ahead and add five cups of sugar and we got to stir this and really stir it and we want to bring this to we want to bring our our syrup mixture to a boil okay so our syrup mix is boiling we're going to start stirring in our apples and i like to sort of stir as i go because we're only going to we're only going to stew these for about you know five maybe ten minutes at the most and what happens is the, the hot syrup interacts with the apple and it forms the, the real flavor, you know, the juice. And we're going to ultimately use that to top off our, our quart jars when we can this. I did wash my hands. So now that my apples have simmered for five minutes, I'm going to start filling them up in my quart jars. Each one of these jars will be equal to one Miss Mary apple pie. Um, but one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a half an inch of room of head space because after I fill my jars, I'm going to spoon the syrup in there. I'm going to shake that down real good and see how I've got, you know, probably a little more than a half inch. Oh, that can stand a few more. You can go back to our apple crisp video if you want to see how we prepared our apples you can actually see how we picked it and have a slotted spoon for everything I think grill wife only gave me one spoon and thanks to my friend the barefooted one Leon for the uh, tip on the funnel these are and so now I'm going to ladle my syrup in there leaving my half inch of headroom and now We've already washed our seals and our lids. And we're just going to put that on there and put them in the old pressure cooker. So there you have it. I've I got uh, five quarts here. You can see them. I've got my uh, pressure cooker heating. And I always can just about everything, fruits and vegetables. at 12 pounds for 15 minutes so with these things seal them shut put your relief valve on there wait for that doodad to pop and watch that thing when it gets to be about 12 pounds you gotta adjust your heat leave it there for 15 minutes so there you have it folks if you want to preserve the taste of summer and, and uh, get some of those apples out of the way put them up can them uh, at Johnson House we have ugly apples and trust me there's nothing good to look at but delicious to eat. Cooking with Kel Bob along with Grill Dog Sherman out.